Hey there. It's not very often that I start the Forex Market Preview this way, but as you can tell, things look a little bit different. For starters, we're on a YouTube page and not the Trade Empowered site. There's a reason for that. I'm starting to produce more and more content for all of you watching, everything from the Forex Market Preview to the live show. And I'm also working on some funny videos that will hopefully entertain and inspire you. The last thing that I want to do is hammer your inbox with emails every time that I create new content. So here's what I'm asking you to do. If you like the Forex Market Preview and you want to make sure that you can find and watch all of the other free videos and trainings that I put out, then I want you to subscribe to my YouTube page. Do it right now so you don't forget. YouTube has this great weekly digest feature so that you can stay up to date without getting bombarded with emails. It's actually pretty nice. This is going to help me create more content for you and give you the freedom to watch all of it on your own schedule. Last thing. If you're getting value out of this weekly video, then do me a big favor and share it on Facebook, Twitter, Ding, Bang, Yelp, whatever. Help me get the word out about what we're doing here. Thanks guys so much. Now let's get over into the charts. Well, okay guys, in this Forex Market Preview, what I thought I would do is instead of uh, running through the charts like I do normally, I thought I'd do a little bit of training here on just a couple of concepts and give you guys something to think about into next week. For those of you guys who are syndicate members, this was the first full week that you had the new chat software that we had. Now, it's not much of a chat software right now. It's more of like a distribution software right now, but the chat portion of it is coming, and I've talked with a lot of you guys about that already, but we had something like 30 trades that set up over the course of last week that were put out on the uh, you know on the on the syndicate feed that came straight to y'all's desktop and so there was plenty of opportunity throughout the week and that was everything from the five minute chart to the hourly chart pretty much everything that uh, that the uh, Akil and I were watching we ended up putting out to you guys to take advantage of as well now what you'll notice those of you guys who are syndicate if you're not a syndicate member I apologize I'll, I'll get through this in a minute uh, what you'll notice is that, man, there. What it really comes down to is building that portfolio correctly. There, if you're watching all of these different currency pairs, what you'll notice is there's just a, a host of opportunity. There's just wealth, uh, a wealth of opportunity beyond imagination once you can identify the patterns. And so once you identify, once you can do that, then it really becomes a matter of, well, man, I really need to restrict myself to a specific number of patterns or types of patterns in a specific set of currency pairs. Because if I don't do that, literally there's you know does you know 20, 30, 40, 50 trades a week that I could potentially be involved with, and those could all come at, at almost the exact same time, and that can put you in a very big bind if you're in uh, if you're in those positions. So. Um, just something to be aware of as, as you guys move forward. Now, since I didn't do my normal intro, let me just go ahead and cover this real quickly. As you guys know, this is uh, what you're watching here today is my opinion and my opinion only. I'm going to show you guys what I do. I'm going to talk to you about how I do it and why I do it. But um, all the claims about money or performance and all of that stuff, uh, those results do vary based on your ability and your skill set and, of course, the market. Um, do not risk money that you cannot afford to lose. Information contained in this product is not an invitation to trade any specific investment or to trade, period. And then, of course, the CFTC disclaimer down there, 4.41 hypothetical or simulated performance results have certain limitations. And I'll go ahead and uh, just, if you guys need to pause it to read it, do so. It's, it's very, very important that you understand exactly what this is and what it isn't so that you're well prepared and, and that you don't end up uh, on the wrong side of a trade, not knowing what you need to do, and then uh, and thinking that this was uh, you know, a sure thing, because it certainly is not. Anybody who's been doing it that long, very long is going to notice that. But I want to talk to you guys this week a little bit about how structure works and how it can play such a critical part in your trading. Now we are on a daily chart here and this um, I'm going to show you guys some stuff that that you can watch and all I would ask you guys to do is go back and look at this stuff in real time after you've had a chance to see me explain it to you today. Because what you're going to notice is, is that structure leaves clues and you're going to hear me say that again and again and again. Look left structure leaves clues. And if you want to know where the market is going, where it's likely to find resistance, where it's likely to find support, we want to look according to those support and resistance levels. And it's also important to know where the breaks of structure come in. So for example, if we do this, we want to, what we're looking for is directional trend changes. So in this case, what we were looking at was the market was, if I go ahead and consolidate back up here, 
what you're going to notice is for the most part there was a, there were some some uh, variations to that but for the most part uh, uh, you had consistently rising market and again we had a little blip right here where the market came down false breakout and then rallied back but for the most part the market has held a line until a little false, false breakout right there but basically holding a nice little level line all the way up until we hit here and then the market breaks out to the downside now the important thing that we want to look for here this is this is a would be considered a trend a trend reversal trading strategy or basically what you're trying to do is you're trying to hop on the trend after you see the break of structure so what we want to be paying very close attention to is that left level of structure so the first one would be here and the second one of course would be here now in this particular type of trend continuation strategy what we're looking for is the market to sh is show it has a break in trend boom that it intends to go lower and it proves that it intends to go lower by breaking the previous structure level so we get what I call a break below close below the previous low so in this case we have the market pull down put in a low then we rallied back then we broke structure and made a new structure low right here right there this low is lower than that low and therefore we have a new structure low now in this case what we would be waiting for is for the market to reverse back up into this previous structure zone in this case the market doesn't do that it just completely falls like a stone all the way back down and actually violates the next support level so this market was moving very very quickly at this time and we saw the market press down boom 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 and actually broke structure here and if I just draw in a little line the previous low I'm drawing it in at this low right back here you're gonna see that the market broke below that and closed below and if I just go ahead and extend go ahead and make this if I just go ahead and extend this line out this little box out this would be kind of the potential reversal zone that we would be looking for in this trade now watch what the market does once that level is violated the market pulls right back up into that previous structure support zone which now should become resistance and as you can see showing strong resistance right in there then the market rolls right over boom and we make another leg down now let's look left we had another resistance level right here didn't we that was violated right here another potential zone that we were going to be watching for now let's see if the market found any support there because we know previous support oftentimes you're going to see some support in there as well and sure enough that actual level where the market rallied out of was the exact zone where we rallied back up into and we got our shorting opportunity then the market came back down we actually put in a nice little double bottom here and the market traded sideways look at how long it traded against that support level you're talking about this is a daily candle so you're talking one two three four five six seven eight nine ten days at that support level and then boom it breaks below and closes below that previous support level now what do we know about previous structure support well once violated it should become resistance then what happens market presses right back up into that zone and then presses down then we get another test of that same zone and market ends up holding that zone and we press lower what this indicates guys is that structure leaves clues and that markets leave clues they tell you where things are like what what is likely to happen next now it doesn't mean that every time the market breaks structure that we're gonna see it rally back up in and retest that doesn't happen all the time but one of the key one of the key things we can look for is when that market breaks structure when we get those new structure lows we can look left and look for that area where if the market does rally back up where are we likely to see that best opportunity for that trend continuation trade where do we want to hop on that trend if we are going to get that trend and guys as I said before sometimes it doesn't happen the market doesn't always trend sometimes we get the false breakouts as we did here and this is a perfect example of it the market did exactly what we would expect it to do we pressed down 
we've had a break below, close below the previous low right in here. The market rallied back up into the previous zone and we rolled over except in this case unlike in the case over here where the market held and then broke down again in this case the market held and then rallied so this was for all intents and purposes nothing more than a false breakout to the downside before we got some trend continuation so I just wanted to kind of show you guys this for starters and, uh, and just kind of key you into some of the different things that happen in the markets and some of the structural things that you can look at where that doesn't require any special indicators or, or any oscillators or anything like that. It's just you looking at the chart and making something happen and, and actually recognizing where that support and resistance comes in at. Now, I'm just going to cycle through a couple of things here and make sure that there's nothing here. I was going to spend some time today, earlier I had my charts kind of set up to show you guys some trend line stuff as well, but I think I'll save that for another day. Let me hop over to the Euro, just because I want to talk a little bit about this. If you guys will remember, we had been looking at kind of a big bat pattern that was supposed to complete up here. I'll just kind of draw it in for you. This was the big bat pattern that we were watching. Boom, boom, boom. And we were expecting this thing to come up to somewhere like up in here. And, uh, and we were going to look at shorting the markets at around 36s, I believe. And I identified in private client group several weeks ago this particular setup here. And it looks it's easier to see on the 4-hour chart. So let me just come down to the 4-hour. On the 4-hour, you can see this narrowing um, kind of sending wedge pattern is what, what we would call it. And this was exactly the time that Bing Bernanke was getting ready to come out and speak. And I was actually, it was the Wednesday before that announcement. I was talking to the private client group and I said, ah, you know, watch out for this because if we break down, wherever this, whichever way this breaks out is going to be an, it should be a nice run. And sure enough, we broke out and we had this really nice run. Now, I told the private client group, I said, look left. I'm going to go back to the daily chart now. I said, look left and watch for, sorry guys and watch for this previous structure resistance level. I'm going to come back to the 4-hour chart, because again, we were, we were doing all this analysis off the 4-hour chart. So I said, take a look at this little shelf in here. That was might be a good area, if the market comes down, to look for a rally for a trend continuation trade. I said, I don't know if it'll happen or not, but we're going to look for it. What ended up happening? Well, the market, sure enough, came down in, found that support. We stalled there for a few hours, and then, boom, we broke down again. And so one of the nice things about these trades is, let's say, okay, you wait for this particular trade setup to happen. It comes down in the destruction, then, boom, you get a pop. And so you're gonna in, you decide you're going to enter the market right after that pop, right after that nice rally out of there, after we broke above and closed above the previous candle, and you go ahead and get long. Your stops can go right there. They can go right underneath that low. You don't have to have these huge stops in the event that something like this happens. So that when you do take a loss on these trades, because they're not all winners, guys, when you do take a loss on one of these trades, it's a, it's a minuscule loss in the grand scheme of things. Because what we were looking for was, we were looking for 3600 So we were looking for the market to come all the way up here for that potential bat pattern. Now that is a pretty good, there's my risk, there's my reward. That's a pretty good risk reward. That's something that you may just want to take more than once. Because odds are you can be wrong two or three times out of, you know, two or three times in a row and still make really good money on a trade like that. So anyway, just point that out to you guys. And then sure enough, what did we get? Well, just follow your trend continuation trading again. The market presses down. Boom. We get the rally back up. Where do we rally back up into? Look left. Structure leaves clues. Boom. Right back up into the resistance level. Market breaks down again right here. Sorry, hang on. Market breaks down again right here. We rally back up. Where do we rally back up to? Previous structure support now becomes resistance. And then we drop down again. Now, where are we sitting now? Look left. Structure leaves clues. We're right down in a structure support zone. We're also, if I go back out to the daily chart, or sorry, yeah, the daily chart, you're going to see that we are also 
at a major trend line support level. So not only have we dipped into trend line support, but we're also in a key reversal zone. So something to watch out for on the euro. But here's a, it's another great example of, hey, you might have missed the trend continuation trade one direction. You hop on it the other way. You could have made uh, you know, a couple of hundred pips going the other direction with it. This is a simple, simple strategy, and it's something that any trader can use at any skill level. It just means that you've got to get in there, you've got to take a look at the chart, and you've got to say, okay, what's happening? How is the market cycling? How is it ebbing and flowing? Look at for previous structure. Look at the resistance levels. Watch how they line up, because they do. It's, it's amazing. But once you start to read this stuff, once you start to learn how this stuff works, the markets will open up to you. It's, it's incredible. So go ahead and uh, that's your homework for this week do that and again if you would please so so much uh, subscribe to the uh, to the YouTube page and I'll catch you guys next week thank you so much